Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So Manchester United has just sacked their manager, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, who in his own right is a legend at the club, but under his managerial reign, Manchester United has been up and down. They haven't won any titles for years now. They haven't won any trophies really for a while now. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, his last few performances have ended up with one win from just five matches, including a 5-0 loss to Liverpool and a 2-0 loss to Manchester City. And just recently, this past weekend, a 4-1 loss to Watford, who I think were just above relegation. Watford, that's unacceptable. So now the Manchester United board had an emergency board meeting and it finally sacked the coach, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. So let's take a look at some of these articles. So Sky News has it first. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer sacked as Manchester United manager. The manager's departure comes in the wake of the club's 4-1 humiliation at newly promoted Watford. Watford just got promoted from the championship last season, or this season, and we lost to them. Look at the table. Watford's 16th on the table, and they would have been on 10 points just after beating us. So they would have been just above re relegation, and which they still are. Man United have sacked manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. The difficult decision was taken with regret, the club said. The former striker will always be a legend at Old Trafford, it added. Former United midfielder and current club coach Michael Carrick will take charge of forthcoming games. Michael Carrick, who was a pretty awesome player back in his day at United as well, has been interim manager before, has been assistant coach for a while now, will take over. Now, let's take a look at the actual statement from Man United. So it says, Manchester United announces that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has left his role as manager. Ole will always be a legend at Manchester United. Yes, you will always be a legend at Manchester United because in 1999, it's going back a while now, 1999, Champions League final against Bayern Munich scores the winning goal in the 93rd minute of play. Basically, the last kick of the game wins the Champions League for Man United in 1999. We'll always remember that, but that was 1999. This is 2021, and we haven't won anything since 2008, talking Champions League, with the FA Cup 2016, two years before he was there, with the Premier League 2012-13 season. Unbelievable. Although, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, when he took over, we sat six, so we qualified for the Champions League, and then the next season, third, okay, we qualified fight again and then second so you would think that this season oh he's gonna finish first based on the trend well actually no because based on where we're sitting right now 12 games in man united sitting seventh with one win from the last five matches in the premier league so and then it's just the pr statement yeah he's, he's a great man believes with our sincerest thanks for his tireless efforts and all this but michael carrick will now take charge of the team for the forthcoming games which includes one of these biggest games the next game we have is against Villarreal, who is sitting equal on seven points in group f in the champions league so if man united loses this one to Villarreal and atalanta wins basically our hopes for going to the knockout stages in the Champions League are almost done because there's only one game left after that. So you have to win this game against Villarreal, which is in three days. Now, if you look at some of the previous performances from Man United, there's the 4-1 loss for Watford. Then we also lost to Man City 2-0. We drew with Atalanta. So that kind of dropped our hopes for Champions League progression. We bounced back with a win against Tottenham after a 5-0 loss to Liverpool with a red card. Unacceptable, really, these results. It's understandable why Ole has been sacked. Now, I think fans were supportive of Ole a bit more than maybe they should have been because when the whole European Super League saga was going on, Ole had this to say. I'm very happy that fans have voiced their opinion because what happened was fans spoke out all around Europe against this European Super League. They said they were going to pull their club memberships and Ole came out and said, well, I'm happy the fans have been listened to and they voiced their opinion and the European Super Super League collapsed because it was just going to be a bunch of the top clubs in Europe playing against each other and excluding the smaller teams and clubs. When Man United wanted to be in this European Super League and they're sitting seventh on the on the table in their own league. Like, come on, man. I think the fans backed in there and rightly so because he was on the fans side. But if you're looking at results and where United sitting on the table, well, no. Ole out has been trending multiple times before after losses. This last time, I didn't even get a chance to trend. It was just like not good enough. And now that's it. He's gone after an emergency board meeting. And this is David De Gea, the goalkeeper, after the last match against Watford with that 4-1 loss. Now, he said it was embarrassing for me, to be honest, the way we played. We were very, very poor. Going forward, Michael Carrick will take over, but Zinedine Zidane has been linked to Man United. There was an article from the Metro here that said Zidane's wife is opposed to Man United move for the key reason. She just doesn't want to move to Manchester. But I think that the board and the, the top guys over at 
United want Zinedine Zidane to replace Oli. There are a few other names, but nothing's been confirmed yet. But it looks like Zidane could be the, the front runner for the next job. And there's Ole leaving the ground after that 4-1 loss to Watford on the weekend. Now, we'll see who comes in next. Maybe it'll be Zidane. Maybe it'll be someone else. But that should come out in the next couple of days, hopefully. And then United can move forward and put in some good performances and maybe finish up higher on the ladder than 7th in the Premier League. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share this one out, and I'll see you in the next one.